Well, it's looking more and more likely like we're going to see a good amount of snow across portions of the area this early in the season. We have issued some uh, winter storm watches across the area, mainly the higher elevations in the north, but populated areas in the south as well, though, Riverton, Lander, as well as Casper, and down toward Rock Springs, including I-80. A lot of different start and end times on those, so go to this web address, weather.gov slash R-A-W. If you want details on that, again, you don't want to look at my face for all the time. I'm not the most handsome guy in the world, obviously. Now, high temperatures for tomorrow, you can see the cold front starts to drop southward here. You can see highs only in the 40s and 50s across the north, but Across southern Wyoming, you can see still pretty warm down there, about 80 around Rock Springs, so there could be more critical fire weather here before the front comes in during the nighttime hours. But as we head toward Tuesday, I don't like that. It just makes me ugh, cringe. I know it's been hot. You want some relief, but I don't want this much relief. I'd rather have temperatures drop into the 70s than falling into the 30s and 40s, but that's what we're going to get on Tuesday. Maybe a little bit warmer up in here because there might be some clearing. But it's not going to be very nice. You want to get some relief from this in our area, go west of the Valley, out toward Jackson. They probably won't see much snow at all out here. And another factor with this is going to be wind. The morning won't be that windy, but as, we, as the front passes through, looks like wind's cranking up around noon, say up around here, and then maybe later in the day further south across the Riverton, Casper area, then probably at night as we head down toward Rock Springs. You can see a lot of strong wind gusts there, maybe over 60 miles per hour to the east of Rock Springs, 40 to 50 widespread across the Bighorn Basin, as well as up here across northern Johnson County. Even northern Fremont County, I'd see some gusts maybe to 40 or 45. So as we time out the impacts, snow will start changing over across northern Wyoming during the afternoon hours. That will actually help a little bit there if you don't want the snow because the sun will still be up, it's still really strong, a lot of warm ground out there, so it's going to have a hard time sticking by the time the sun goes down. Most of the precipitation there should be over, so not a huge impact there. But from about Thermopolis on to the south, that's where the impacts will be. Since the sun will be down, have a better chance to stick, especially if it comes down really, really hard. The maximum impacts there, late evening to about early morning around Thermopolis, and generally after midnight, then heading toward uh, Tuesday morning as we head toward uh, Rock Springs and Casper. Now, one thing I want, another thing I want to emphasize here, focus on the impacts. We're in snowfall amounts. There's a lot of uncertainty with this. It's very early in the season. A degree or two can make a lot of difference, but if there's blowing snow, it's blowing 50, maybe a branch comes down, knocks your power out. Does it matter if you get one inch or five inches? No, probably not. But I still know you want to know how much you think you're going to get. Now let's take a look at this. You can see Fremont County getting hit pretty hard from this. List amounts around Shoshone, but Riverton about three to four inches, maybe locally over eight inches around Lander. Twelve might be pushing it there. There could be over a foot in the mountains, though. About four to six around Casper, six to eight, because you get toward Jeffrey City. Bighorn Basin, not seeing very much. Eastern, especially, a few inches around Cody, Thermopolis. Buffalo could locally get up to three inches, especially the western part of the town as you head toward the higher elevations. Generally about one to three inches across uh, Rock Springs, then lesser amounts as you head west of the Divide. And one more thing we got to talk about. This is Tuesday night. Is there still snow on the ground? We do expect the skies to clear out. So very cold temperatures here. You can see lots of low temperatures falling into the 20s, even some teens around this area. So this could be a killing frost and the growing season pretty prematurely. So to sum up the details of this, the rain will change over to snow from north to south across the area. Still some uncertainty with the accumulations, though. So take those with a grain of salt. We should fine tune these before the snow gets here and starting on Monday afternoon, though. Accumulations will definitely be lower on the roads and the non-paved services with how warm it's been, especially in the lower elevations, but passes could still get pretty nasty. And even in the lower elevations, snow, snow comes down hard enough, we could get slushy surfaces, but those numbers you saw for accumulations, those aren't going to be on roads, that'll be mainly on grassy surfaces. Now there will be another chance of this, the heavy wet snow coming down, still the leaves are still have, the trees I should stay, still have all their leaves on them, and the wind coming in. Local power outages and tree damage are also possible from the heavy, wet snow. Now, how widespread that's going to be, nobody knows yet. The wind may actually help blow some of that off the trees, but keep that in mind. It could be some power outages. And finally, killing frost likely in many areas as we head toward Tuesday night. So these are resources for weather. You know that, weather.gov slash R-A-W. Road conditions, again, I emphasize, don't call us for road conditions. We don't know anything these guys don't know, and you get it right from the source here. Wireroad.info on the web, 511, you want to call if you're in the state of Wyoming, coming from out of state, 1-800-WYO-ROAD. And for webcams by route, go to our web address and just click local programs, then a webcams by route, lots of cool webcams from all over the state. Be safe, everybody. Have a great day.